Alright, I find it very humorous now that the K, J, V, <laughs> it's all circled on the 13, or like, I don't know, maybe there's a K, J, J in there. But, uh, yeah, I didn't need that in my reality. So, I've been sitting here thinking about the numbers right around here, these guys. And I've been thinking about the P over here and how this makes a bigger P when you draw the complete thing, which I don't have depicted. But this just keeps going down like waterfalls. This does as well, but these are the one, two, three, four horsemen of the apocalypse. Never mind about those. We just have this. In this quadrant up to 5,000 5,000 apparently you know when a Freemason dies this is a true story they found the body he had five thousand dollars cash in his pocket yeah for what it's worth so back to these cue cards because they're like super ultra important about you know cellular energy there's your cellular energy cell six faces eight vertices 14 14 is important because there are 14 wheels turning Outside is 42 magnets in the plus. The X has 8 magnets. Add them together, that's 50 magnets. 14 times 50 is 700. 714 are very important. It's like 712, 1, 2 away from the center of the 8-bit cell. 714. But we're not done, no. Because we need to understand heaven. And heaven is where the other pivot point is. Okay, you have pivot point at the center of the cell, and then you have pivot points on the outside of the cell. So essentially, okay, we have an X, Y, and Z ring, okay, plus your two eyes, so you have five rings. Every ring is broken into 36. One of nine has to be a bearing. The other eight are magnets, okay? Eight times four is 32 magnets. Five rings, 32 magnets is 160 magnets, okay? You need four bearings per ring, so you need 20 bearings. Okay? Anyways. 160 magnets plus 700 magnets plus 14 magnets is 874 magnets required in a free energy cell. So, I'm looking at these numbers. And I'm thinking about 874. And I'm thinking about Canada. And I'm thinking about these guys. These guys. And how they fold. Okay? How this dot, this one by three, and this dot somehow become a representation of a dot and a dot, but that dot's more like an X with an X going through it, and each of the X's has certain many fingers, and I counted them as 35 and 35. So anyways, your brown X is your one, according to the color of the A side, and the yellow X plus thing is going to be side four, or side D. You know? So we're going to go through why they're equivalent, okay? And basically what this 8-bit cell is, at the end of the day, this whole 8-bit cell, or the knowledge of the P, sorry, the knowledge of the P, when it all folds up, it becomes this little center scary thing. That's all it means. Heaven has now been defined as Mickey Mouse. Because the six and the nine, the circles are escaping the circle. The one dimensional lines from the six and nine are gonna be circled in the circle, creating the eyes. And you're gonna have your three mix, four mix, five mix, six mix, seven kind of whatever interpretation of the eight bit cell or nine by nine matrix. Meaning that there are Blow it out your ass times five because you literally have five depictions of a dude squatting, okay? Where the anus would be going towards this, and then you have one in the middle, so you have five of them, okay? So let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at what Kevin did. I'm not doing any little mashup clips. I'm just gonna talk. Now I'm gonna focus on 76 and 235, okay? 76 and 235. What I think is going to happen is that these are going to have to combine, but they're not going to combine in a way that you think. They're not going to be added. They're going to be added in a different way. All of the selves in the new galaxy and all the circles have to be accounted for. So what you actually get here is when you add 
7 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5, you get 23. No, 23, the number 23, Jim Carrey, whatever. Read it backwards, this is a 32. 32 is equivalent to a 31 circled once. Yeah, like the backwards of this. Now, when you look at the, the P that I'm talking about, like the very small first P we get, and then the end result giant P of complexity in math, of cellular nature, What happens here? It's like, look, you have three ones, and you have one zero, and you have, you know, the microscopic iteration to the next level, yin and yang, balance, I don't want to get into that. So three ones and one zero, if the zeroth dimension is first here, and the one-dimensional depictions are here, it looks like a 31, but you have to remember that all of this shit here is on the whiteboard, which is kind of the cue card right now. So you have to plus one. I'm gonna put a circle around that 31. So 31 and 31, very interesting. Shows the folding. Shows the folding of the 8-bit cell when it when you reach this level, when you get the last row and the last column, what happens is everything shifts and folds. And you get something like this to be a new one. Because this is like, let's say, ninth dimension. It's like, I know it's like eighth dimension, an 8-bit cell, but like, you know, because that's like your your home. But it's like ninth dimension, then you have to understand the tenth dimension and the eleventh dimension, you know? You have to understand, or, I don't know, the tenth dimension, this quadrant, and then the eleventh dimension of consciousness, I don't know, whatever. But, so, what we're essentially doing is we're going from a 76 and a 1 by 3 and a 64 36 to two stars of X's from the Radiohead album, where this one's brown is a one, and this one, which is yellow, is a four. Fourteen. It's just, it's interesting that that says fourteen. Now, in actuality, you're actually going to have seven plus six plus two plus three plus five is twenty-three plus all the circles that go with them. So there's your twenty-eight. But again, it's on the cue card. You have to circle that twenty-eight, which is equivalent to a twenty-nine. Twenty-nine is important. Keep twenty-nine in mind. We're going to put 29 over here. Anyways. So, back to this. Now, Canada, in a different, certain point of view, is 874. I wrote it and said it a different way. 32, okay? So if this is your 31, which is a 32, and everything's equivalent, this is equivalent to the meshing of this from a certain point of view, and read backwards, and blah, blah, blah. 32 times 5, because you have to understand... The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the new 26 by 26 matrix. You know, the God particle, you yeah. know, the G7, O15, and D4. So 32 times 5 is 160, okay? Now, that's interesting. 76 is just a 7 and a 6, which is a 13 in a circle, is, you know, 14. That's interesting. Together, five P's and the 76 now make 174. That's all I'm trying to say. Five P's, okay? What does that mean? Okay? 76 is important. It's the center of the 8-bit cell. But five P's, because when you're looking at this, the center of the 8-bit cell plus the P in this quadrant the P in the next quadrant, the P in the next quadrant, the P in the next quadrant, and that P. Source. At the mi microscopic level, where you come from. The four quadrants plus heaven. Okay, so I'll just I'll put like the little 69 here. And the center of the 8-bit cell are equivalent to 174. Now let's take a look at this. Remember we remember the 29 here. Remember this 29. Okay? This is how you add. This is how you combine these two cells from a different point of view. Okay? So now we're gonna look at the rest of the shit here. We're gonna look at this. And these are gonna combine. You know? And two make one. So your 7, 12, 21, 43, and 64, 36 equal 9, 
1,291. Notice how I always make a comma because if my calculator makes a comma on my phone for a reason, I need to do that. So 9,291 plus the 29 is equivalent to 9,320. Now that doesn't really mean a lot, but if we have to know that there is five, you have to make the V, so you need to know to deconstruct the V. 9,320 divided by five is equal to 1864, which is the year where the Fathers of Confederation united the whatevers of Canada. Three years later became Canada in 1867. We just had our goddamn 150th anniversary, and you add those together, 2017, which is kind of like now. You know? Because in Canada, because now Canada is 874 from a certain point of view. All right. So 1867. Notice how I drew the comma, because a comma is a dot and a line. If you add them all up, 1867 is equal to 23 again. You have to add the dot and the line, and you get 25. It's a galaxy. Okay. Because we've already. We've already broken the shit, like the circles. I mean, I'm not going to account for the circles. Just, I'm not right here. I don't know why. Because I'm, this is why I'm not doing it. <laughs> Duh, I forgot. I should rehearse these. The circles, all the circles in here, like all the circled shit, are all going to be accounted for when you take this circle and add it to the end and append it. Just like in my free energy thing. You're going to have 36 solenoids. Okay, you're going to have wound solenoids that are coiled 400 times each, and you're gonna have a circle of them, okay? Where your 42 magnets are, and your eight, and your eight magnets are, okay? In the space between them, you're gonna have 36 solenoids, okay? Four, uh, wow, that's really dyslexic. 400 times 300, and 36 of them, but they're in a circle, is the trapped 144,000 of your Bible. So, when I look at this, and I add these all up, I get 23 plus the 0 plus the 1, or 25. They're all going to be encircled in a new galaxy. Put the 0 at the end, is 250. If we take 3 times 150, we get 450. 250 plus 450 is 700. 700 magnets plus 174 magnets is equivalent to... Wherever it went. 874 magnets, guy. I'm going to end with this. In 1976, we had Pierre Trudeau as our Prime Minister of Canada. In The Watchmen, the movie or the graphic novel, The Watchmen, the Keene Act was passed in 76. 1976. 19 is just an S. Oh, yeah, S. Big giant S. Anyways. 1976. We had Pierre Trudeau, and then now, in 2017, we have Justin Trudeau. What is going on here? I think I was meant to discover this. I don't know. Cellular math, cellular energy. Giant J, and your C, and your K. K is the 11th letter. If you have to understand this, like, four quadrants plus heaven is just a five, which is a V. 11 times 5 is 55. That's kind of interesting. K is the 11th letter. K is the 11th letter. K is the 11th letter. 11, 11, and 11 is 33. When Jesus Christ died. 13, 13, 26, God. 50 and 110. 160. Your circled 16. Your hexadecimal reality. The KJV. My Bible. Because it's mine to decode. Genesis 1. Ooh, a lot of crazy math. I literally am a crazy scientist. This is friggin' blowing my mind. Are you kidding me? Do you understand? Like, I hope, uh, I hope I'm doing it right. I mean, sure. Like, the evolution. You understand the evolution, right? Of how we twist and collapse. Like, our 9x9 nine nine cell. It doesn't matter which way you look at it. If you go like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Okay? You encompass the whole M. Same way if you go for like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's your M. There's like the middle of the M. This is what we collapse into. Everything matters. All these colors matter. And then it just goes on and on and on. Okay? Look, if a T, is, if, it, if this is a cross, get in with this. If that's T and T is the 20th letter, 
One, two, three, four, four twenty. Your twenty circled four times, right in the heart of the mandrel bolt set. Cheers.